This story is called The Baby Owls. So let's predict what you think the story might be about. The Baby Owls. So when do you think the story is happening? Look at the sky. What does that make you predict? And who, what owl do you think this is if these are the babies? And what might she have in her mouth? So you're going to make your predictions. Paul is not going to help you. She wants you to think about it, but she will show you some pictures. So think about what might happen in the baby owls. Sneak a peek. One. Ooh, what time is it? Look at the baby owls. Who else is in this? And what are they doing? Sneak a peek. Two. And sneak a peek. Three. So I want you to make a prediction on what you think the baby owls is going to be about. Then you are going to read the story, looking at the pictures, reading the words carefully, thinking about what makes sense, what looks right. If it doesn't look right, you're going to stop and go back and read it again. So push the space bar and you're going to read the book to yourself the best you can. When you finish, push the space bar again and come back and read with me. See you in a bit. Welcome back. Let's read The Baby Owls together. I will read my book. You're going to look at the words and pictures in your book. The Baby Owls. The Baby Owls. Down on the farm, the cows are asleep. The pigs are asleep. The dogs are asleep. Up in the tree, the owls are not asleep. Hoot hoot. The baby owls are hungry. Mother owl is looking for moths. Mother Owl sees a big moth. Here comes Mother Owl. Mother Owl comes to the tree. The big moth is for the baby owls. Hoot, 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 hoot. Down on the farm, the cows are asleep, the pigs are asleep, the dogs are asleep. Up in the tree, the baby owls are asleep too. So let's be Sammy Summarizer and let's retell that story. Can you tell who the characters in the story are? Where's the setting and when is the setting? Um, what happens in the beginning, the middle, and the end? So we're going to kind of turn and prove our points with Sammy today. So from the cover, I know who the characters are, are in the story. Mother Owl and two baby owls are the characters. And I know that the setting is at night because I can see in the picture that it's at night. But there's a word here that tells where they are. Right, they are at a farm at night. So the story is about a mom and her two baby owls who live in a tree on a farm and the story takes place at night. In the beginning, Mother Owl is out. Um, she's not. She's not asleep. Sorry, and so she goes out to look for food because the baby owls are hungry, right? And she finds a big moth, 
and she goes back to the tree to feed the baby owls. And in the end, the baby owls are able to fall asleep because they're full. And look, mother owl isn't there. So that makes me ask a question. Where do you think mother owl went? Where do you think mother owl went? And Quincy has another question. It's kind of a science question. Why does this setting take place at night? Why does this story take place at night? That's a science question because if you know about owls, they are something we call nocturnal, which means they are awake at night. All right, you are going to practice reading this book several more times. The more you read, the more fluent you will become. Happy reading.